Hello students, so today we will be learning a one more new story for you all. So that is forgive and forget. In this story, a name of a girl is Apeksha and this Apeksha shares her story of her and her mother, how her mother forgave her for her debts and forgiveness is the good thing one should adopt. Okay, so let's start reading. Apeksha's mother hurts herself accidentally because Apeksha left her toys lying in the way. Her mother does not scold her but Apeksha knows that it was her fault. Her mother appreciates her sincerity and explains to her why it is important to forgive people for their mistakes. Apeksha sat by the corner of her bench gazing dreamily as her teacher Mrs. Luther called out her name. Apeksha, it's your turn, sweetheart, said the middle-aged lady, a motherly figure in a sari, tells, tell us about an incident, incident that taught you forgiveness. Now, a teacher, Mrs. Luther, asked Apeksha to share an incident which has taught her forgiveness. Now, the little girl stood up in her place and began to narrate. Her mother was blind. This had made the child more compassionate and sensitive than other children of her age. Apeksha's mother loved her daughter dearly and explored the child's world through sounds and touch. Little Appu had learned through practice and play that her visually challenged mother could tell every move she made, whether smart or silly. Once Apeksha fell in the park and hurt her foot, she did not want her mother to get worried. So she quietly walked in the door and limped towards her room. Mom called out asking, Appu baby, why are you limping? Are you hurt? Apeksha was surprised how her mother could just hear her footstep, her footsteps and make out that she was hurt. Now Apeksha started narrating the story and the first thing she told about her mother was her mother was blind. Now this had made the child more compassionate. Compassionate, the meaning of compassionate is feeling or showing sympathy and concern for others and what is the meaning of visually challenged terms used to describe a person who has low vision or is blind the one who cannot see or the one who have the low vision eye vision so they are called as visually challenged so she told her mother was blind and then her mother loved herself very much and she explored the world of child through sounds and touch so those who are blind they explore their world by touching and by hearing the sounds isn't it you must have observed when you are in the traffic and some blind persons they cross the road so they hear the voice of the uh, vehicle horns and they sense the touch with the help of the stick which we they uh, which they carry so they can sense the things with the help of sound and the touch so little appu had learned practice and play that her visually challenged mother could tell every move she made so her mother could sense her every move whether it's smart or silly then further she told that once in a park she just felt and hurt herself and she did not inform her mother that she got hurt so that her mother will get panic and will be worried so she just came home and started walking towards her room without telling anything to her mom but her mom could recognize her walk and could see that uh, could feel that she is moving and quietly moving to her room okay and appu was surprised appu appu is no one else but apeksha was surprised how could my mother hear my footstep and how could she know that she was hurt though she cannot see but she can she can sense her moves and she can sense her feelings too so because she is her mother now let's turn to page number 22 let's move to the next page students input inputs so this one is your homework students let's move to the next paragraph of page number 22 each day the mother and daughter played their own game which they called 
find out what's cooking in Appu's mind. And mother was always able to guess what Appu was thinking. So both of them used to play a game that is what's cooking in Appu's mind. That is what Appu is thinking about. And her mother was always able to guess, was always able to recognize what was always able to identify what Appu was thinking. Whenever Chirpi, Appu had played a prank, mom would sit Appu on her lap, stroke her cheeks gently and say, Show me your eyes, dear. Let me see what's filled in them. Let's see if you have been up to any mischief today. So, whenever Appu used to play a prank, then her mother used to ask her to sit on the lap and stroke that is to hold her check and say show me your eyes let me see if you're hiding something from me or you did something mischief today then then this would make the child blush and giggle covering her eyes with both hands she would say no not today look into them tomorrow please appu would then throw her arms around her mother and give her a tight hug sorry mom i knew you will find out what i have scribbled on the walls so what she used to giggle, Appu used to giggle, uh, giggle and used to laugh and blush and then tell her mom that please don't do this tomorrow. Let's do this. Uh, please don't do this today. Let's look into this tomorrow, please. And then Appu used to hug her, give a tight hug to her mom and say, sorry mom, I knew you will find out what that." I have scribbled on the walls. So the mischief she did today was scribbling on the walls. So she used to tell her mom that sorry mom. I knew you will find out that I have scribbled on the walls. So this way her mother used to come to know whatever that Apeksha have done or whatever Apeksha is thinking about. Although Apeksha's now students input, although Apeksha's mother was visually challenged, she would come to know whenever Apeksha did a mischief. How do you think she could find out because they used to play what's cooking in Appu's mind. Now let's move to the next page. Now Appu stood before the class telling her teacher about what had transpired. Transpired is nothing else but what has occurred or happened on a Sunday afternoon. Mom and I often decided which corner of the room I would play in so that mom could would not step on my toys that day mom was clearing dishes in the kitchen just after lunch and i was playing with my doll i pretend that i had to take my doll to school so i turned the cane stool upside down put the doll inside it and push it fast toward the other room on the way i realized that i had forgotten to put on my doll's shoes so i left the stool there itself and went back to my room to fetch them to fetch them is to find them to search for them okay so what happened on a sunday afternoon her mom was clean, cleaning dishes after their lunch and Apeksha, that is Appu, was playing with her doll and she was thinking that she is supposed to carry the doll to her school. So, she just noticed that her doll was not having shoes. So, she just took the cane stool, put, her, put the doll inside it and just pushed it to the other room and went back to... Uh, went back to her room to bring the shoes of the doll so i left the stool there itself and went back to my room to fetch them so she left the stool there itself and went back to her room to fetch to find the shoes of the doll then the telephone rang and mom stepped out of the kitchen into the corridor intending to reach out for the receiver assuming that i was in my play corner so they decided that one corner of the room or one corner of the house will be the appus where she will play so that her mother don't get disturbed or uh, her toys are not in between someone so that they won't fall okay so after that the phone bell rang and her mother went to attend the phone mom walked forward and tripped over the stool with the doll the ringing telephone stopped but mom found it hard to get up from the floor her ankle was little swollen she carefully placed the stool aside and asked me to get an ointment from the medicine cabinet 
द फोन हैज स्टॉप रिंगिंग बट हर मॉम फेल्ट ऑन द फ्लोर बिकॉज ऑफ दैट केन स्टूल और द बॉक्स ऑफ द डॉल एंड देन हर एंकल स्वोल्ड एंड शी आस्ट अपेक्षा टू गेट द ऑइंटमेंट फ्रॉम द मेडिसिन कबर्ड ओके ओ अपू आई एम रियली सॉरी आई थिंक आई शुड हैव वॉक द लिटिल स्लोअर एंड बीन अ वी बिट मोर केयरफुल शी टोल्ड सॉरी टू अपू दैट आई वॉक i walked little faster so that she was telling appu that i am sorry and i should walk little slower and bit me and i should be bit more careful mom said to me and she squeezed the tube over her ankle but teacher i realized the mistake was mine seeing mom's swollen ankle made me cry i gave her a big hug and told her that i was sorry because i had left the stool in the middle of the corridor so she told her teacher that day she felt sorry for her did and then she realized that it was her mistake and she told sorry to her mom for leaving the stool in the middle of the corridor corridor then mom tightened her arms around me she wiped off my tears and smiled and said yes honey i do forgive you you are so sincere at heart and i believe your intention wasn't to hurt me then her mother took her in her arms and told her daughter that i know you are sincere at heart and you didn't want to hurt me intentionally mom explained to me that when someone realizes their mistake and learns from it they deserve forgiveness and that incident not only taught me about forgiveness but it also made me more sensitive so she explained the story to the teacher narrated the story about the forgiveness to the teacher and she told that day she learned about forgiveness about forgiving people for their deeds and she also became more sensitive and careful from that day now let's move to the next page moving to page number 24 now i am very careful while playing and moving around the house i immediately mop up the floor in case water spills or close doors and closers left ajar lest mom should get hurt accidentally mrs luther wiped off a tear drop that appeared at the corner of her eye gestured to apeksha to be seated and asked the next student to narrate his incident so further she told that i became more careful i used to immediately mop up the floor if she sees water spilled on the floor she used to close the doors and close it left ajar what is the meaning of left ajar that is ajar means slightly open so close it which are slightly open she used to close them lest mom should get hurt accidentally that means fear of that mom should not get hurt accidentally then mrs luther wiped off her tears and asked her to sit and asked the other student to narrate his incident now what did we learn student in the chapter is forgiveness when someone hurts you intentionally or unintentionally you may feel upset or angry but it's important to forgive the other person and not keep a grudge against him or her so sometimes it happens that many of your friends or your family members hurt you intentionally or unintentionally at that time you feel very angry or you feel upset sad but you should forgive other people and not keep a grudge against him or her not keep a feeling of hatred towards him or her in your own mind forgiving someone shows strength of character not weak character not weakness forgiving does not mean that what the other person did is okay instead it says that you choose not to hold any harsh feelings against him or her so forgiving does not mean that the other person did very good thing or right thing instead you choose to forgive them and not to hold any harsh feeling against them okay so forgiving shows your strength and it is not your weakness did you know visually challenged people often use a cane to find their way around they hold the cane ahead of them as they walk to determine if there are any road blocks or steps on the way have you seen that blind people carry a stick with them so that is nothing else but cane which help them to recognize if there are any hurdles or something in their way or there are steps so that make them to walk around in a 
good manner or so, so that they could find the hurdles okay next is do it yourself so it's your homework what is given let us read the black hearts displayed here represent hurt when someone hurts you and you choose to forgive them take white pen and color one black heart white the white represent peace and forgiveness the white represents peace and forgiveness if someone hurts you then you should paint one black heart with the white paint and you will it will be seen that you have forgiven them so thank you students for this raised page number 25 and 26 is your homework so if any doubt let me know thank you